Hi there, it's Trevor Tillotson here in New Zealand. Uh, you want to know the difference between a uh, corn and a wart or a veruca? Uh, well, there's, there's quite a big difference, uh, really. Um, one is caused by pressure, and that's a corn, and it's the same as a callus. A uh, callus is caused by pressure, nothing else. Uh, it's associated with a, um, um, the structure of your foot. So if you've got a, um, a bony prominence or a, a, a sort of slightly deformed toe, um, or you've got a, um, uh, a shoe that causes pressure on, a, on, on the skin of your foot, your toe, then you are likely to develop a callus or a corn. Um, whereas a, a verruca is caused by a virus. Uh, and the virus uh, gains entry into a skin cell and then starts to uh, replicate itself and create uh, an infection that we get, uh, we know as a, uh, a verruca. So there's just a couple of pictures here just to show you, a couple of photographs. Um, basically, a, a, a corn will develop over any bony prominence, either on the, the bottom of the foot or um, uh, even, even on, on toes as well. So uh, here you see um, a very uh, prominent uh, central part of the corn, which is what we call a nucleus. And um, this is a callus uh, by comparison, which is the precursor to a corn, but uh, a callus develops first. And then if it's left for long enough, if it's ignored, it will become a harder mass, which is a deeper uh, penetrating mass called a corn. Um, and then um, corns are very common, of course, on toes. And uh, this is a good picture to look at because it gives us a the sort of uh, normal appearance of a corn. Uh, very painful things, actually. And this is over a uh, sort of slightly uh, hammered lesser fifth toe. Lower fifth toe. Um, and the, the, the skin... Uh, basically has undergone a change and the change takes place due to the pressure from the footwear in this case so um, in this case what happens is the uh, the skin cells change chemically when they get pressure on them as do all human skin cells and the skin is made up of a structure called uh, called keratin and keratin uh, has various forms or various types your hair is one type of keratin, uh, your nail is another type of keratin, and your skin is another type of keratin. Um, obviously, the skin is very soft and flexible usually, whereas the nail is quite rigid and hard. But when the skin uh, gets uh, subjected to pressure, it changes chemically to represent more the keratin found in toenails, which is quite interesting. Uh, quite often when, when I debride these away, I, I, uh, if I can get the central part out, the nucleus, out as one whole unit, which we normally do, um, it leaves quite a hole where it used to uh, sit in the, in the soft skin. And I, I sort of hand it to the patient quite often when, they, when they've never uh, thought about or, or been told about uh, the, the chemical change in skin. And, and it gives them a good idea of just how hard it is. I say to them, it's a bit like if you imagine taping a, um, a grain of rice onto your toe and putting your shoe on. Basically, that's what it's like. Uh, uh, that's the effect that the uh, nucleus of the corn has on the, on the soft skin underneath it, pressed against nerve endings and blood vessels. And when they press against nerve endings and blood vessels, of course, they become very painful. And they can uh, actually cause uh, ulceration beneath them. But that's a different uh, different video. We're just looking at the difference between the two today. So, so that's uh, that's a corn. Uh, the, the area just looks like a, a, a rough area of hard skin. Uh, a verruca, on the other hand, is um, very different in appearance, as you can see here. Uh, this looks uh, hard and, and it looks uh, like a dry area of skin. But if you look very closely at the, um, uh, the, the picture here, uh, you'll see that the, the lines on the skin here, the lines are, are sort of broken up, interrupted. 
and um, uh, so they're interrupted and if you look at this area here it looks a bit like the head of a cauliflower or a broccoli I always say it's got little um, uh, dark dots in it which are um, blood vessels uh, which have ruptured they they sort of rupture into the into the skin from these uh, dark red or black brownish dots and the um the surrounding tissue uh, within this lesion here uh, is sort of like um spongy it looks a little bit spongy sometimes that's because of the the rapid changes that take place in the skin so they, they are quite different things uh, uh corns and Veruchi, um and they're treated differently too so um, one thing you shouldn't use on corns so corns and calluses this is a corn here callus here callus here uh, you shouldn't use um, uh, corn pads on these um, corn pads uh, contain uh, a chemical called the over-the-counter compact uh, called salicylic acid and that, that actually dissolves the skin and it wouldn't do a lot of damage on here unless you over over overdid it but uh, on on, on a, an area like uh, like a toe for example if you use a corn pad on this um, the surrounding skin is very delicate and if you um, use a salicylic acid corn pad on this um, then what's going to happen is you're going to dissolve the skin and you're going to get uh, an ulceration beneath that um, uh, dissolved skin uh, and you can quite often create ulcerations which uh, are very dangerous because the um, uh, the joint capsule is very and the bone is very close to the surface uh, of the skin it's very thin layer of skin on top of the joint here so you can actually get um, an infection uh, with using salicylic acid compounds on the toes and you get infection and, and um, it's very difficult to treat very difficult to clear up so anything that looks like this um, for corns what it's called a medicated compad is not not a good idea for corns and calluses best thing to do is get to your podiatrist and let the podiatrist treat them um, Corn pads like this are okay. Anything with a hole in it that you can see daylight through uh, is okay to use on toes. Uh, the pressure is taken up by the felt material around here and relieved from the central part where the, where the hole is. So if you can see daylight through the corn pad or the corn ring, that's, that's okay. But if you're using medicated corn pads, you're doing yourself a, an injustice and you you probably will need to visit a podiatrist at some stage to get things sorted out a regular visit to a podiatrist uh, for anyone with a um, with a corn or callus um, like this sort of stuff here we go I want to open for me now decided not to open for me but you saw the pictures before uh, they um, they need regular treatment and um, and uh, respond well to regular treatment. Anyone with a with a corn pad like this, uh, with a corn like this, uh, or a callus, um, if they have uh, them treated regularly, um, they don't cause much trouble. Treated by a podiatrist, that is. So just going to try and open this up because. Um, There we go. So salicylic acid um, you can buy uh, for treating warts or, or Veruchi. Over the counter, it's okay to use this stuff uh, on warts, but not on corns or callus. Um, it, um, it helps to break down the, uh, the warty tissue. So you just paint it on like a clear nail varnish. It goes onto the, uh, onto the wart. And... Um, So you'd paint it onto this area here uh, and uh, treat it as it, as it um, suggests on the uh, on the packaging. But even better, uh, get yourself to a podiatrist and let a podiatrist deal with it for you, uh, rather than trying to do it yourself. Um, you can also get uh, freezing 
uh, medications or, or systems from, from the pharmacy. Again, um, you know, freezing works for some people, but not for others. Uh, so the, the, the main uh, message is uh, then, you know, to, um, to just um, treat them uh, carefully. Um, don't, don't overdo the uh, self-treatment. Um, corns and calluses generally will need regular treatment by a podiatrist. Uh, so the difference um, between a corn and a callus, a corn is just a chemical change in the skin. A, um, a, a Veruca is um, a, a viral infection. Um, so my name is Trevor Tillotson. I'm a podiatrist in New Zealand. And um, uh, I just thought I'd... Um, pass on this information to, to anyone who's interested in, in knowing the difference. Um, being a podiatrist, we, we care for people and um, uh, we're very, uh, uh, very sort of um, keen on people not damaging themselves. So we, we, uh, we want to look after our patients as well as we can by providing uh, good regular treatment. Um, so being being a person that, that that's uh, used to caring for for others um i also um have uh, wor worked out that um when i when i retire reasonably soon i want to keep on caring for people and looking after people so one way of doing that is to uh, to try to uh, help people um maintain a, a stable um, income uh, once they retire. So uh, I'm, I stumbled across um, online marketing a, a couple of years ago. And um, uh, online marketing offers uh, a very, uh, a very good uh, way to, uh, to, to maintain an income once you retire. Um, uh, there are lots of business opportunities out there. Uh, I've, I've uh, linked up with uh, a team of um, very, very uh, 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 legitimate uh, online marketing entrepreneurs, all multimillionaires in their own right. And they've developed a system that, um, that helps people to, um, to earn an income online. Um, and uh, if, you, if you're interested in the, the system that I'm using, uh, which is uh, bringing in some income for me, um, which will continue to do that when I retire, then um, we'd be more than happy just to team up with you um, and help you do the same. Um, so being caring people, we want to make uh, make sure that people are not ripped off and, and all that sort of thing. And uh, if, you, if you get a legitimate business with a, a legitimate system, um, working online once you retire is an excellent way of earning, earning an income. So if you're interested in that, just uh, click on the link that you'll see somewhere on this page. And uh, I hope you found this uh, uh, information uh, about Corns and Veruki useful. And I hope that you, um, if, you if you're interested in um, on online marketing, building a residual income throughout your retirement and for your family into the future, uh, just click on the link below or somewhere else on this page and um, I look forward to perhaps um, talking with you and meeting with you sometime in the future. Thank you. Bye.